And take some time here to consciously rest your body. Remember, there's nothing wasted when we practice yoga. There's nothing, there's no time wasted. Transitioning from one pose to the next is also an opportunity to practice, practice mindfulness of the body. It's really important to practice resting the body as, as well, especially in between the poses, rest the body. Okay, let's roll over onto one side and then onto our backside. And we're gonna practice, well, actually we're gonna roll onto our front side rather. We're gonna practice three exercises that help to strengthen the muscles in our back. So the first one is Cobra. So let's bring our bring our hands to just underneath our shoulders, elbows get tucked in to the body and the forehead comes onto the mat. Feet are together behind you. Legs are together like two magnets. From here, we begin to lift the head. This is Cobra and this is really excellent for improving posture, strengthening the muscles throughout the back. See where you can feel this in your back. I notice it in my low back, but as well as in my shoulders and upper back. I can feel the, the muscles engaging there in the back. You lift up your hands, you can maybe feel this even more. By lifting, by lifting our hands up and engaging our back in this way, we're counteracting our tendency to slump forward. And we have lots of opportunities to slump and slouch forward throughout our day. So this is counteracting that tendency among us. We're changing some habits in this way. Okay, let's go ahead and lower our head down and rest. You could turn your head to one side if you want to, stretch out your neck muscles a little bit. and really just rest. Okay, let's do that again, a little variation. Right. Hands come underneath our shoulders, forehead to the mat, and begin to lift the head. You do not have to lift the chin here. You could simply just lift the head, lifting the hands and then extending the arms out like the wings of an airplane, extending the arms out. And just holding here. And for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Let's go ahead and rest our head and turn your head to the other side if you want to. Okay, one more phase of this particular asana that we can try is by reaching our arms forward, starting out with our forehead on the mat, lifting our head and lifting one or both arms at the same time. Right, you can lift one arm up, hold it up for five seconds, and then lower it down, then lift the other arm up, hold it up there for about five seconds and lower it down. And you can also try lifting both arms up at the same time. You do not need to lift your chin. You can tuck your chin here if you like. And holding for five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Right, feel free to turn your head to one side. So that's the first exercise for improving 
posture. The next exercise we'll do is called the locust pose. And this one really helps to strengthen the muscles in the low back. So we're really isolating the muscles in the low back. And this can help greatly with low back pain because we tend to overstretch the muscles in our low back. We tend to overstretch the muscles in our low back. So we're gonna consciously tighten them up by doing this next pose. All right, so for this one, I'm gonna focus on the low back. You could have your hands at your sides or underneath your abdomen. You could do it either way with your hands under, underneath your abdomen like mine are now or out to the sides. We're going to focus on our left leg, lifting the left leg up and hold. The knees straight here. You could rest on your chin or forehead, whatever's more comfortable for you. Breathing normal. Okay, and then lowering the left leg down, lifting the right leg up. Holding here. Now these ones we want to do for somewhere between 10 and 15 seconds at a time. Okay, lowering the left leg, the right leg down, lifting the left leg up once again. See if you can disengage the muscles in your right leg as your left leg is lifted. As your left leg is lifted up, see if you can disengage the muscles in your right leg. Lower that left leg down and then lifting up the right leg and hold. You might feel this in your low back. Okay, and then lowering the right leg down. Feel free to release your hands from underneath. So that was the half locust pose. That was the half locust pose. The next one we'll do is called the locust pose. Bring our hands again to your side like so, or underneath your body. Just roll to one side. Tuck your arms underneath. And then we lift both legs up, holding, holding here. Right, you can circle your feet around your ankles if you want. And holding for three, two, one and zero, go ahead and lower down and rest. Turn your head to one side if you want. Stretch the neck muscles a little bit and take some time to rest your body. See if you can enter into a state of solitude. Coming to a place of, of refuge from a very busy life and a very overly busy world. See if you can come to a place of solitude. Quieting the mind down, resting the body. All right. And now we move on to the third exercise. So this third one is called Dhanurasana or bow pose. So for this one, we bend our knees, take hold of our feet, push our feet into our hands, lifting up. You could rock a little bit here on your abdomen. You might feel this in your back side. Another way to do the same thing is if you can't reach your, your legs, just bend your knees and lift them. Right? Just bend your knees. You can still get benefit out of doing this. Right? If you can't reach your feet, you can do it that way. If you can reach your feet, you can push your feet into your hands to help lift up your head a little bit higher. All right, let's rest. We'll do that one more time.
So take a moment to let your back rest. Okay, let's do that one more time. Dhanurasana, bending the knees, reach back for your feet. You can also grab your pant legs if you can't reach your feet. Okay, and lifting, lifting up. See if you can get your knees about as high as your shoulders. So the shoulders and knees are about the same height. Remember to breathe deep into the lungs here. And let's slowly release, extend one arm forward, use the other hand to help you roll over, returning to your backside. And rest.